There were three beef industry groups gathered at the 2019 Cattle Industry Convention in New Orleans, NCBA, the Cattlemen's Beef Board, and the American National Cattle Women, also known as ANCW. ANCW was led this year by a fourth generation cattle woman with a passion for the beef industry. Brad Bulla has more on Wyoming's Gwen Geis. It's a chilly winter morning in northeast Wyoming as Jerry and Gwen Geis load hay and roll it out to feed their cows. This is a couple committed to their family, their cattle, and their land. My husband is a fourth generation. His grandfather and great grandfather built the house that they, my brother-in-law lives in. They started putting the ranch together in their early 20s. And we've just grown from there. Uh, Jerry and I have been on the ranch now for 37 years. We've been married 38 years. Today, the Geis brothers operation includes about 350 cow-calf pairs and they grow their own hay and feed. As much as she loves caring for the cows, over the past year, Gwen has spent many days away from home in volunteer service as president of the American National Cattlewomen. I was born into it. My mother was a cattlewoman president. My grandmother was a cattlewoman president on a local level, and it's just something you did. These women are doing such great things across the country. They're in the schools talking to the children. They're teaching the consumers what's going on. They're cooking beef with each other and sharing that out. We're all working for the same goal and we're trying to promote healthy, safe beef and show that we are conscious with what we're doing with our land and how we take care of it. Gwen is proud of the way ANCW works to provide leadership training for women in the beef industry. And she says her experience with the cattle women has helped her bring valuable ideas and insights home to her own cattle operation. By being involved on the local, state, national level, it's improved our operation because I can see some of the benefits of what's happening on the larger scale and where we maybe need to be going, whether it's with vaccinations, whether it's with tagging minerals, feeding our animals. I see where we need to be headed and sometimes we get very short-sighted when we don't get outside of ourselves or outside of our local community. I would encourage everybody to be a part of ANCW, NCBA, your local state organizations, because if you don't join, you really can't have a voice. You have to be a member to have a voice. Gwen's passion for the beef industry is clear. And like so many other cattle producers, the Geis family is eager to make the moves that will allow them to pass their ranch and their life's work on to another generation. We've spent 37 years here working the land, making, trying to keep this ranch together and keep it in the family. That heritage means a lot to a lot of us. Fortunately, I think our kids, some of our kids and our grandkids are, have it in them as well, so we're really looking to do that. In the Powder River Basin of Northeast Wyoming, I'm Brad Bullock for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen. American National Cattlewomen serves as a voice for women who share a passion for the beef community. To find out more information about the group, go to the website ancw.org.